Okay, I'm at 2.30 Wagnon. Um, I don't know if anything's gonna be built, if homes are gonna go in right across the street or if this will remain open. Um, but this is the view from the front. This is looking west. Okay. That South Mock right there that goes right into town about two miles down. This is the house. You guys are gonna love this. Um, I will say that this driveway is a little steep, but nothing undoable. So let's go on the front door. Oh, there we go. Thought I locked myself out. Okay, so you walk in and you've got a really nice entrance. It's spacious. You know, some people might think it's wasted space, but you've got nice wide hallways. You've got two bedrooms and a bathroom up front and another bedroom in the primary towards the back. So first one is this bedroom. This is the smallest out of all of them. Nice big windows. Okay, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. This is about eight by eight room. I'm not including that little uh, cut out there for the hall, the going to the door. We've got a smaller closet. All right. The floor or the baseboards are just a simple white board. Everything in here is painted white. There are no, this is 91% complete. It should be done the end of April. April 29th is their date right now. Um, the only options that you have are to add a fence. And there were two other things and I can't, or blinds and one other thing. And I'll have to think about it and let you know again, I can't remember. So this is, the guest bath up here between the two front rooms. It's a tub shower enclosure, all right? You've got black granite, black handles, black faucet. Okay. Then this is the second bedroom in here. This one is a little bit bigger. This is probably like an eight by nine. This window will need to get replaced, but that's not a big deal for them to do. It's just got a, it's been broken. Um, a little bit bigger of a closet there. Okay. The bedrooms have that carpet. The rest of the house has, it's a ceramic tile that looks like wood. And it is not clean. So it might be a little bit darker than this light brownish gray that it is right now. So now we've got the door to the garage right here. And it's a standard two car garage. Okay. The third bedroom is right there along with the laundry room. So this is your laundry. You've got a little bit of storage. Plenty of space for two full-size washer and dryer. And this actually has a door into the primary walk-in closet. This is the third bedroom. Once again, this is probably about eight by eight, maybe an eight by nine, but I think it's more eight by eight. So the bedrooms are smaller. This does have two closets though uh, that go all the way through. Okay. A window. So I will go to the primary through the kitchen and show you that. All right, so this is the kitchen. Great open space. You've got a gas fire, or a gas fireplace, a gas stove, a nice, Island, black granite again, 
nice large sink. There is no fireplace here, but you have an eating kitchen area right there, and then your living area right there. You have a closet right here that could easily be made into another pantry, but then you also have a pantry over on this side. And that's a good size pantry. And then you've got floating shelves. Lots of windows in here. Plenty of room to put two or three bar stools here at the bar. Okay, the island is it's about five feet in length, maybe six foot. So you will have another house on that behind you. I'm not quite sure where your property line would be. Maybe at where those stacks are. Okay. All right, so let's go into You've got a little hallway, just a small one, but it allows for a private entrance into the primary. Your primary is not the biggest, but it would definitely fit a king size bed. Um, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. This might be a 10 by 11. I don't think it's a 10 by 12, but we'll get the measurements for you. So you've got Two windows there. You could put your king size bed against this wall. And you come into your primary bathroom and you've got dual sinks, okay, with the black leather or black granite. You've got a soaker tub. It's not a whirlpool, it's an actual soaker tub. And then a walk in shower. And that shower head is high up. A lot of them get put in so low that tall people can't stand in it. So you should be actually very happy with that. Like I said, it's a soaker tub, so it's a little bit deep. Not the biggest one I've ever seen, but plenty of room. And you've got natural light coming in through the transom windows, but you have privacy. So then we come into the closet. It's a good sized closet. And it gives you, you've got shelving, and then you have access into the laundry room from your closet. It's a really nice floor plan. That tile for the backsplash, it looks white, but it also looks kind of a gray. I think it's gray. I don't think it's white. It's really pretty. You know, standard cabinets, Frigidaire gallery, uh, stove and microwave. Frigidaire gallery dishwasher also. Now, if you didn't need a hall closet, you could easily turn this into some shelves for some additional pantry space. Your roof line over here has a little bit of a slant, so it just changes. It's just kind of an art deco type feel over on the side. 
no purpose, just making it a little bit artistic. You're gonna have pendants coming down here. I don't know what those would look like. And then this is looking from the kitchen to the front door. And remember those two other bedrooms are over here. Go back into this one. This is the one that's next to the primary and the laundry room. It's got the biggest closet out of all three of them. And you've got this one. You've got this bathroom. And then you've got this front bedroom. This one has the most windows, but the smallest closet and the smallest room. So that is facing west. So definitely are going to want some shades or something on these because the west or the sun in the afternoon is going to beat right down into there. And so that will make this bedroom probably pretty hot. So I'll walk out front again. Make sure I lock this. So you've got attic storage up there. There should be plywood up on top that allows you to put boxes and stuff up there. And then you've got your hot water heater and your HVAC system all right here. Okay. Front yard is getting all put together with water and everything. And that's it. I'll show you once again what it looks like from the front.